First Chronicles chapter 5, going through the children of Israel. We've already looked at Judah first, Simeon. Now tonight we're going to pick up Reuben and pick up some interesting information from the Bible. All reading is good. Now, the sons of Reuben, he was the firstborn. Sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel. Now, here's a parenthesis, and their parenthesis in the Bible is great information. It stands out. For he was the firstborn, but for as much as he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given unto the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel. Then the genealogy is not to be reckoned after the birthright. All right, so as far as the genealogy, Reuben is the firstborn. Forget it. Now, Genesis, we're not going to look at it, but Genesis 35, 22, and 49, 4 is, is the crime, is the sin that Reuben slept with one of Jacob's wives. And for that very fact is in Genesis uh, 49, 4, he curses Reuben. He says, you're unstable as water because you came upon my couch. And with that curse passed on from the father to the son, God has reckoned as, all right, I've given that firstborn right over to Joseph. Now, why Joseph? Joseph was the firstborn of Jacob's other wife, Rachel. Seeing that God really didn't look at the handmaids, even though they're concubines, they're still wives. And Jacob served the 14 years, first of all, for Rachel, which he was deceived with Leah, and then he got Rachel. So with Reuben's sin, it carries over to Judah, uh, Joseph. We're going to look at this in a moment. It's the sons of Israel, and the genealogy is not to be reckoned among the birthright. So forget the birthright now. For Judah, this is the line of Jesus Christ, prevailed above his brethren. And of him came the chief ruler. But the birthright was Joseph's. Now let's look at Genesis 48.15 on this one. Genesis 48.15. And as far as the other firstborn, you have Rachel's son, Joseph, 48.15. Now, in the law, there was, there was a provision that if you have a wife, that you have two wives, and a wife that you really, really love, and that's the story here, and the wife of the hated had a firstborn, you can't make the wife that you love her son the firstborn, when in reality, the firstborn was of the hated. You can't do that. But that's not the case here in the law. Though Leah was not the one that was loved, it was he that Reuben was the firstborn. The sin of Reuben. He lost his own birthright. So Genesis 48, 15. And he blessed Joseph, Jacob, and said, God, be whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac did walk. The God which fed me all my life long this day. Verse 22. Moreover, I have given to thee one portion above thy brethren, which I took out a hand of the Amorite with my own sword and with my bow with my bow. Now you run that over to John chapter four. And that's the well where Jesus came and met the woman. And she and it even gives a note in the Bible that this is the partial of land, the well that Jacob gave Joseph, and it shows up in the line of Jesus Christ in his ministry. But Judah is the one, and it speaks about in the Psalms, and it speaks about in the book of Hebrews. When it comes to, to Jesus Christ, the priest, it says of Judah, you know, that, that wasn't the priesthood. And Lord willing, if we don't, if we can do this one night, I hope we can. Chapter 6, Lord willing, we're going to get into the Levites. Now the Levites were the priests, Jesus Christ came of Judah. So, you got a messy situation here. And that blessing of the sons was very important. The fact is, Esau was the firstborn, right? But he despised it and sold it for a mess of beans, so it went to Jacob. Let's see. 
computer is acting up. All right, so. And so we see Judah first because of Jesus. Simeon is next, maybe because Judah has swallowed him up. Reuben, and we're going to see something interesting with Reuben by the time we end this. So Judah prevailed above his brethren, and of him came the chief ruler. <laughs> chief ruler, of him came Jesus Christ. But the birthright was Joseph. He's the firstborn. Uh, Reuben's the first. Joseph was, he was the second to last child of Jacob, but the first of Rachel. The sons, I say, of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel were Hanak, Peu, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Joel, Shimaniah his son, Gog his son, Shimei his son. Now that's not the Shimei that cursed David. That Shimei came of, of Benjamin. And Micah his son, Reali his son, Baal, his son. That's kind of interesting. And yet you see that in Mexico. When they named their children Jesus. They're naming them after Jesus, but not the Jesus of the Bible. The Roman Catholic Jesus. So that's interesting. Baal. Where is Reuben gone? And wait till you see where Reuben goes by the end of this chapter. And Bariah, his son, whom Talgapalneser, king of Assyria, carried away captive, he was the prince of the Reubenites. And we're going to get at this at the end of this chapter. But here's Reuben going into captivity. And his brethren by their families, when the genealogy of their generations were reckoned, were the chief, Jael and Zechariah. Bela, the son of Ezaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel, who dwelt in Arar, a town, even in Nebo, a town, and Baal, Meon, a town. Eastward he inhabited unto the entry in the wilderness from the river Euphrates, because their cattle were multiplied in the land of Gilead, that's east of the Jordan River. That's not in the promised land. Remember, Reuben settled on the wrong side. Oh, look at our cattle. Look how great this area is for cattle. Oh, Moses, can we have this land? They're thinking about their cattle. They're not thinking about God. As, uh, you know, notice how cattle, notice, that's a great God amongst people. Good cattle, cows, hamburger. And in the days of Saul, King Saul, they made war with the Hagarites, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents throughout all the east land of Gilead, other side of Jordan. And the children of Gad, all right, here's the other tribe. Reuben, Gad, and half-tribe of Manasseh stayed on the wrong side of the Jordan River. Over against them, the land of Basha city, and onto Salco, another town. Joel, the chief, Sepham, the next, Jenai, Shaphat, in Bashan, that's a town. And their brethren of the house of their fathers uh, were Michael, and Meshumim, and Sheba, and Jorai, and Jackin and Zia, Zia, Heber, seven. These are the children of Abihel, the son of Hurai, the son of Jarah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jesuiah, the son of Jadul, Jadul, Jadu, the son of Buzz. I wish they were all like that, Buzz and Joel. And the son of Abadai, the son of Gunai, chief of the house of their fathers. And they dwell in Gilead and in Bashan, two cities, and in her town, and in all the suburbs of Sharon city, unto their borders. All these were reckoned by the genealogies. That's the first time that word shows up. And we saw genealogy the other day in chapter 4, verse 33, genealogy. Now you got genealogies, chapter 5, verse 17. And we've gone through all kinds of lists. And here's where it first shows up. In the days of Jotham, the king of Judah, in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. So now we're dating ourselves. And the sons of Reuben and the Gadites and the half tribe of Manasseh, these are the ones that did not go into the promised land, of valiant men were able to bear buckler, that's like a belt buckle kind of thing for harness your, your armor, 
a sword, and shoot with a bow, and skillful in war. I mean, you don't want to mess with these guys. They were warriors. Were four and forty thousand seven hundred and three score that went out to war, and they made war with the Haggadites. And you mentioned that in verse number six, uh, number ten, with Jeter and Nephish and Nodab, and they helped against them. And the Haggadites were delivered into their hand, and all that were with them, for they cried unto God in battle. And he was with, he entreated of them because they put their trust in him. Now, here is a good thing. Reubenite, the Gadites, the half tribe, Manasseh, they are in battle. They went to start a battle on the wrong side of the river. And they say, God, you're our help. God, you are our stand. God, you are our warrior. God, you are our all in all. And God says, I like that, and gave them victory. They're the children of Jacob. They're the children of Isaac. They're the children of Abraham. God bless them in those names. And they took away their cattle. Now they got more cattle. Of their camels, 50,000. Look at it. Going to name it. And the sheep, 250,000. And of the asses, 200. And of the men, 100,000. You don't want to do a comparison. Compare that to what Job had in Job chapter 1. And there fell down many slain, because the war was of God. So when God's on your side, victory. Now notice that God is on their side. They are relying on God. And they dwelt in their steads unto the captivity. See, up to the captivity, they were doing fine. They were like we read the like we read last the last chapter last night. They went into the fat pasture. They went in and drove out the Hamites. When they drove out the Hamites, they took their houses. They took their garden. They took everything. This is exactly what Reuben, Gadites, and the uh, half tribe Manasseh did. They went in there and conquered them, the Hagarites, and they took their houses, their barns, already built, already had gardens, had the land for the cattle. Verse 23, and the children of the half-tribe Manasseh dwelt in the land. They increased from Bashan city unto Baal Hermon city and Sinair city and unto Mount Hermon. You know, that's the mountain's name. And these were the heads of the house of their fathers, even Ephor, Ishai, Eli, that Eli, that's, you know, Eli is, Jesus said, Eli, Eli. Lama Sebekti, my God, my God, that Eli, my God, El, Jehovah. That's almost like my God, my God, my God, God, my God, Jehovah. And Azrael, and Jeremiah, and Hodaviah, and Jehadiel, mighty men of valor. Famous men and their heads of their house of their father. Now those, we're, we don't get into Hebrew and Greek like that, but when you got that E-L in a word, that's Jehovah. Bethel, Beth means house. E-L, house of God. Dan means judge. Daniel, judge. L, God, judgment of God. God is judge. Those Hebrew, you can know, you can get, You'll see that throughout the Bible. And the trans and they trans yeah, can't say it. And they transgressed. Okay, now we're running into trouble. Now they left God. And when you leave God, you got trouble. And they transgress against God of their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. And also would be Adam and Noah. You know, which is rightfully so. We always mention Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but Abraham came of Noah. And Noah came of Adam, and Adam had the same gods, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, as with Enoch, and went a whoring after the gods of the people of the land. Now, look how God says that. Now, preachers get up there, oh, fornication, adultery, which is right, it's a sin. But why don't you mention whoring? It's a sin of sexual nature, 
It's also a sin of going after other gods, as adultery is not only a sexual sin, it's also a sin going with other gods. Especially when a Christian is married to Jesus Christ and you step out of Jesus Christ for the devil. That's adultery. A whoring after, after the gods of the people of the land. That would be in their area would be the Edomites, the Moabites, the Ammonites. That's what they on the other side of Jordan River. That's what it'd be. Of whom God destroyed before them. We just read about. God gave them victory. And the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Paul, the king of Assyria, and the spirit of Talgan Pizner, king of Assyria. No, it's Assyria. And he carried them away, even the Reubenites, the Gadites, the half tribe of Manasseh, and brought them unto Hala, a city, Hebar, a city, and Hara, a city, and to the river of Gozen unto this day. Okay, now, to close off that verse 26, let's look at the order now and would mark it as so. 1 Kings 12, 19. Now, here's the order. Of history of Israel, First Kings twelve nineteen. And approximately, I mean not exactly this would be BC nine thirty one. First Kings twelve nineteen. So Israel rebelled against the house of David unto this day. Israel splits into two. Israel north, Judah south. Ten tribes go north, two tribes stay with Judah. There is the country split into two. That's the first thing. About BC 931. Now, number two is right where we're reading right now. In order. And I they got you know between 4,000 and 1,000. They don't give a specific date. Here in 1 Chronicles 5:25. Reuben, Gad, and the half tribe of Manasseh go into captivity. The nations that stayed on the wrong side of the Jordan River. Assyria comes and brings them off. They're out. They're the first group to go into captivity. 2 Kings 17.6. 2 Kings 17.6. And this is the order. And you don't learn this order until you go to First Chronicles. And now it's kind of mentioned in the Kings, but you go over it and you miss it. And Second Kings seventeen six, approximately BC seven twenty two. In the ninth year of Hosea, the king of Assyria, that sound familiar? Took Samaria. And carried Israel away into Assyria and placed them in Hala and Harbor and the river Gozen and the cities of the Medes. That's the first time that shows up, Medes. Now, did you just see what happened there that you, if you don't read Chronicles? Assyria brought Israel north, the ten tribes, to where Reuben, Gad, and half tribe Manasseh were. Hi, guys. How you doing? When were you here? What happened to you guys? We did the same thing you did. What? We sinned against God. We were driving out of our land. Isn't that interesting? That when you study a scripture with scripture, that the Reubenites, the Gadites, the half tribe of Manasseh ended up, or I should say the, the ten tribes of Israel ended up where the ones that would not go in the promised land. And it's the same sin going whoring after God's. Now, 2 Kings 25, 8, which we just read not too long ago. 2 Kings 25, 8. And this would be approximately 588 BC. And I've got some, other, I've got some years here I'll, I'll mention again. But for 2 Kings 25, 8. In the fifth month of the seventh day of the month, which is the 19th year of King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nebus Adan, captain of the guard, servant of the king of Babylon, unto Jerusalem, and he sacks Jerusalem. And Jerusalem is carried away 
back, back carried away into Babylon in their captivity. So Israel splits. Half tribe Manasseh, Reuben, and Gadites, they go into captivity by Assyria. Israel north goes into captivity by Assyria. And then Judah goes into captivity into Babylon. And again, 931 would be the nation divides. And these, these are not exact dates. Um, trying to read my writing here. In 721, the ten tribes, the Syrian captivity. 606, Babylon invades Jerusalem. 970, uh, nine, 597, 597, the second time Babylon comes into Jerusalem. And in 586, the final time Babylon comes into Jerusalem. So the order is, and when you come with, with Chronicles, there it is. And we find with Reuben, Reuben, he doesn't really get things right. So now where we where we leave off in this chapter, oh, I mean, only Judas left. And Simeon. And the next one we pick up, they're carried captive. We're going a whoring after other gods. And when you go whoring after other gods, God's not going to bless you. You can't say God bless us when you've got other gods. It's impossible. Look what we just read.